Alright. It's chicken coop maintenance day. And Gail went inside to clean out. She moved that big log and there were a bunch of <coughs> Maggie. <coughs> Maggie. Bear. What's some yelping little dog doing, huh? Look who is out off of a leash with the chickens. Let's see how she does. Because Misha's not allowed to be with the chickens. But as long as she does, she's been laying on the deck. That's a good girl. Yes, you be a good girl with them. Uh-uh, uh-uh. That's too close. She wants to chase them so bad. She really does. Uh -uh. <laughs> but she's not. She knows she shouldn't. Misha, look at all the chickens watching like, what are you doing to her? Yeah, oh yeah, Warm City, huh? Warm City, Lucille. No. Charlie. Come on, girls. Get in your coop. You no. Know. <laughs> you are not catching. Misha. Bear. You're a good girl. Yes. Wow. Well, Lucille has about ten worms in there. She's yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at this. She's just watching them walk by. That's a good girl, Misha. I know. She'll be dreaming tonight. Misha Bear. Holy crap. Look at that mess she had to clean up. All those feathers. So we gotta clean out the run area, put new hay down. Charlie, where are you digging a hole to? You know exactly why he's digging yeah. a hole. It's a giant litter box, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Your animals. I know, we're not getting any more. We have our quota of... Say that again while I have the camera going. No more animals than what we have here. And... I don't need... I don't need no more cats? I don't, no, no more stray have, cats? Just what we have here. <laughs> the eight stray ones that we have? It's not eight. Okay, six. It's not six, it's two. No. Tiger's not a There were three anymore. out there this morning. Not tiger, the other cat who's not going to make it because... It's, caught, it's sneezing and wheezing and that great well I'm sneezing and wheezing who lives who the old ladies <laughs> over their feet <laughs> he just comes over here to try to show his dominance yeah well all right so that's done gotta get all their bowls together so I can clean all their bowls out all their breakfast bowls <laughs> yeah they ate all their pomegranate this morning all right they got a pomegranate this morning their weekly oh, treat. Was that good, Lucille? Huh? Was that good, Lucille? That was really good with all those worms sticking out there, huh? So there's a little trick uh, for your chickens in their run. Uh, we just took an old tree limb, put it in there. They like sitting on it. And, you know, every couple weeks, three weeks, come out and roll it over. And there'll be a bunch of worms underneath it and bugs that they love to eat. Uh, or train them how to roll it themselves. But this part's clean. Of 
What do you want, Lucille? Lucille. Maggie. Who's in the chicken coop this time? Who's in the chicken coop? Oh, caught ya. Caught ya in there. I'm here. Was you looking for an egg? Yuck, what are you in there doing? Is she trying to eat some of their food too? Yeah. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Misha. Misha. She almost drank out of the water bowl. I'm glad she didn't do that. She had to go in there to see what Maggie finds so fascinating. Got any eggs this afternoon? One. All right. Well, beat Let's the blank. Guess what? Come back out when the rain's done. Come on, rain is. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come on. Go, 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 go. It's raining. Come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> Misha, Misha, deck, Misha, get on the deck, let's go, let's go, now, come on, now, get up there, keep going, your sister's lonely, keep going, look, chase the cat, I wonder how the definition of those clouds come out on here. Pretty cool. Well, looks like the rain's over, so the cleaning can take off again. Got wise and got a mask. So, so we see who cleans the chicken coop out. Well, I have. Oh, well, I don't know if I can do this because it's a lot of I wise. know, it would be fun too. Uh, they had to go buy 50 pounds of feed today. I don't know why they eat so much. Uh, I had a lot of people asking about this construction. Because they got a lot of new uh, subscribers. So I thought I'd talk about it while I was doing this. We had a couple pieces of machine come into work on big 4x8 skids that had a nice a three-quarter inch plywood on the top, uh, four bay. So we got those, took those out to the barn. And when we decided to get chickens here, I went out to the barn and got one of those skids, one of those pallets, brought it here. There are no plans for this. There's no designs to go get it. It just, what we had, we just started working off of. So, we took the 4 by 8 sheet and I cut it to 4 by 6 uh, we cut two feet off the end of it, and that made that a 24 square foot house. Because um, I'd always read that, you know, you need about one and a half, two square feet per chicken. We were getting six chickens. 24 square feet. <laughs> they got a big coop. Uh, but I took that two foot section that I cut off of the 4 by 8 I took that two foot, put it around on the back side, and that's where we made the nesting boxes. Uh, we've got four nesting boxes. We don't need that many, but I had a two by four piece of uh, the plywood. Oh, that mask helps to get in there, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. 
we couldn't do that before. So let me get the camera off the tripod and kind of show. Ooh, the space. Yeah. But at least you're not breathing it. Uh, so what I did is just take some 4 by 4s I had laying around here, cut some legs, and made kind of like a frame, uh, two feet high, so that during, you know, inclement weather, the chickens could always get underneath there if they wanted to. And when we first got them from John, we got the chickens from uh, J. Null Zero. He uh, guided me in how to care for them and picked out the three different breeds to give me. And two of them were just chicks, uh, just a couple of months old. So we kind of had to separate them for a bit because the big ones were pecking the crap out of them. And uh, we gave them underneath the coop. They had that area. And the other chickens had the rest of it. And then I built that their ladder, a ramp, out of some stuff from out of St. Bernard Acres. Uh, just to make it look kind of cool. And if I can show inside, Gail had the brilliant idea to tile the floor. Which really was a great idea. Um, I had never thought of that, never heard of it, and it makes it so much easier to clean and it protects the plywood floor. And none of that's coming up yet. We haven't had a problem yet with any of that tile. But you can see the four nesting boxes we did over there. Okay, she's going to put pine shavings down now. We put that on the floor for them. And we brought some branches from St. Bernard Acres and made them some roosting poles on the inside. And every night when it gets dark, all the girls come back in here and climb up in and get on their ro roosting poles. Uh, we made this little run. It's just six by eight uh, the day we got them. I mean, Nick and Alex finished this up while we were driving down to John's to uh, pick up the chickens and then I just threw a tarp over the top of it you see these bigger poles that I've got going in the ground what we want to do is increase the run their area to all this and then not let them roam the yard every night but give them all this area let the dogs out back here and put a fence across there so we're going to give them a bigger area this stuff the gale pulls out goes in the compost bin that i made out of some pallets from work uh, the gloves are in the house oh you left the gloves in there well, i put them in there because we're, we're yeah. done for the day i have some metal roof I gotta finish. I gotta put metal roof over the nesting boxes. But I put some up here and it worked out perfectly. But inside our nesting boxes, we keep hay in there for them. Uh, we've gotta change this because one of the chicks was molting and her feathers are everywhere. So we're going to change out this hay. But this is just the two by four, two foot by four foot section of the big skid that I cut off and screwed onto the back of this structure to make these nesting boxes. Um, but like I said, there's no plans or anything. We just, I went with what things I had around here and the simplest way to put something up. And uh, it's now, we've had the chickens a year and a half now. So, but yeah, I want to show you how we did the coop. I left uh, underneath there is open because that provides ventilation. It's the same in the back. There's That's open and it'll let 
air move through there so that it doesn't get too stinky for them. This hay looks okay because I, I put hay in here the other day. Oh, okay then. Yes, no, we're done. good on hay then. Yeah. Yeah. All right. But anybody's got chickens, anybody that likes their chickens, you need to do this on a regular basis. You got to keep it clean for them. Let them get out and roam. Buy them their treats. They get pomegranate today. They got a big old pomegranate for their Sunday treat. Yeah. And when they get kids cold, they get their oatmeal, their hot oatmeal yeah. with bananas in it, or raspberries, or blueberries. Yeah, every morning when it's cold, Gail makes them hot oatmeal and puts banana in it, or raspberries, or something uh, for them. Brings it out each morning for them when it's cold. I mean, you don't. That's not a heated coop. We haven't gone that far with it yet. Now, if we start getting, you know, 10 and 20 below zero, I might, you know, run a cord out here and put a, a lamp in it. But that's why they get their hot breakfast. Yeah, morning. but they get their hot breakfast every morning. But that's how easy it is to clean out the coop. You know, people need to do that. At and, they, some point, Joe will do it. and they all say, Joe's done it at least once. Maybe once. That and poop patrol. Yeah, well, I don't do that. I know. You always beat me to it. Oh, yeah. You know? Every time I'm going to do it, you're out here. Uh-oh. We going to look for birds or worms after the rain? Lucille. <laughs> oh, yeah. She knows you got the shovel. What the heck was that? What the heck kind of noise was that? Yeah, it's all clean for you. If you want to go back in there. She says you got to dig deeper. <laughs> 